The U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines are among the most advanced and powerful vessels in the world. They can remain submerged for months at a time, traversing the world's oceans, ready to carry out strategic missions, maintain deterrence, and conduct reconnaissance. However, operating far from shore presents one significant challenge. Resupply. Unlike surface ships, which can dock at ports to refuel, resupply, or restock, nuclear submarines must rely on a variety of methods to ensure they have the necessary resources to complete their missions, sometimes operating in areas where they are out of range of any land-based support. But how does the U.S. Navy manage this complex resupply process when submarines are submerged in the middle of nowhere? Here's a detailed look at how the U.S. Navy resupplies its nuclear submarines and ensures their continued operational readiness. Nuclear Power – The Key to Long-Term Submarine Operations one of the most significant advantages of nuclear-powered submarines is their ability to stay submerged for extended periods without needing to surface for fuel. Unlike conventional diesel-electric submarines, which require regular refueling, nuclear submarines use nuclear reactors to generate power, giving them the ability to operate for months sometimes even years, without the need to refuel. The nuclear reactor generates electricity, which powers both the submarine systems and its propulsion. This capability significantly extends the operational range and endurance of the submarine, allowing it to operate far from shore for extended missions. As a result, the need for fuel resupply is virtually eliminated, which is one of the primary reasons why nuclear submarines can remain out of touch for long periods. However, despite the nuclear reactor's self-sustaining power, submarines still need to be resupplied with food, ammunition, and other consumables. Submarine resupply. What's needed? While the nuclear reactor provides power, a submarine still requires various other supplies to continue operating. The main areas that require resupply include food and water, Submarines have limited storage capacity for food, and crew members need fresh supplies to sustain them. Water is purified and recycled on board, but regular resupply is necessary. Ammunition and Equipment Submarines carry a variety of armaments, including torpedoes, missiles, and other military supplies. These need to be replenished regularly. Medical Supplies Like any isolated environment, Submarines must maintain medical supplies to ensure the health and well-being of the crew. Other consumables. This includes batteries, parts for the submarine systems, and even specialized items like clothing or sanitary products. The logistics of resupply, underwater operations. So, how does the U.S. Navy handle the resupply of nuclear submarines when they are submerged? often hundreds of miles from shore. Underway, replenishment, unrep. The most common method of resupply is called underway replenishment, a complex naval operation where supplies are transferred between ships while both are moving at sea. This can be accomplished through a variety of techniques, including fueling ships. For nuclear submarines, this may be a refueling ship that provides food, water, ammunition, and more. Cargo ships. These ships are specially equipped to carry large quantities of supplies, which are transferred using helicopters or heavy lifting equipment. Specialized submarine support vessels. Some submarines are resupplied using vessels equipped with special underwater docking systems or transport mechanisms. During underway replenishment, the submarine may surface temporarily, but in many cases, it can remain submerged while receiving supplies from surface ships or via airlifting. This is a dangerous and delicate process requiring precise timing, skill, and coordination. Vertical replenishment via helicopter. Vertrep. One of the more innovative methods of resupply is vertical replenishment. Vertrep. In which supplies are flown to the submarine via helicopters. While Vertrep is more commonly associated with resupply to surface ships, it can also be used for submarines, though it's more complicated due to the submarine's need to surface or be within a certain depth range for helicopter operations. 
cargo is loaded onto helicopters, which then fly to the designated location. The helicopter lowers its load via a cable and hooks it to the submarine. This is particularly useful when a submarine is operating in a location where surface ships cannot easily approach. Submarine Tender Ships Another important asset to a nuclear submarine is the use of submarine tenders, large ships designed to provide repair, maintenance, and resupply services to submarines while they are at sea. These ships can carry supplies, including food, water, ammunition, and other critical items, as well as perform repairs. Submarine tenders can meet the submarine at specific rendezvous points, providing the necessary support to sustain long-term missions. These tenders are designed to provide logistical support to submarines without requiring the submarines to dock or surface. The tenders are often equipped with large cranes and other systems for transferring materials and personnel. Resupply without surfacing. The role of stealth. One of the critical aspects of nuclear submarine operations is their stealth. Surfacing to receive supplies can reveal the submarine's position, which is a significant security risk especially in hostile environments. For this reason, much of the resupply process is designed to minimize the need for the submarine to break its concealment. Methods like vertrep and underway replenishment allow submarines to remain as hidden as possible. Even when surfaced, nuclear submarines take steps to reduce their visibility. For instance, they may use their radar or sonar systems to monitor the surrounding area for threats, only surfacing for brief windows of time when it is safe to do so. Communication and Navigation While nuclear submarines are often far from land, they still need to communicate with naval command centers and other ships. To manage this, submarines use a variety of communication systems, including satellite communications SATCOM, very low frequency VLF radio, and extremely low frequency ELF transmissions. These systems allow submarines to receive important orders and intelligence updates without needing to surface. Navigational equipment is also crucial for ensuring submarines can meet up with supply ships at designated rendezvous points. Advanced sonar systems, GPS, when they surface, and other techniques help them navigate in the vast oceans. Special Considerations for Resupply Missions Resupply missions often take place in difficult and remote locations, where weather conditions and sea states can complicate the process. These operations require detailed planning, coordination, and a high level of skill from the personnel involved. Submarines are also frequently deployed to hostile regions, where resupply operations must be conducted with extra caution. They often operate under the protection of surface vessels, aircraft, and other assets, providing a comprehensive security net during the resupply process. Resupplying a U.S. Navy nuclear submarine in the middle of nowhere is an intricate and highly coordinated process that involves specialized ships, helicopters, and equipment. Nuclear submarines, by virtue of their nuclear reactors, can remain submerged for extended periods without needing fuel, but they still require supplies like food, water, and ammunition. Through methods such as underway replenishment, vertrep, and the support of submarine tenders, the U.S. Navy ensures that these submarines are capable of carrying out their missions without interruption, even when they are operating in the most isolated corners of the world. The ability to conduct these operations without jeopardizing the submarine's stealth or security is a testament to the advanced technologies logistical coordination and military expertise that make the U.S. Navy's nuclear submarine fleet one of the most powerful and self-sufficient in the world.